Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I restored this firm FFZ400N. I started out by dismantling the scroll saw and took all of the parts off and labelled them in boxes so that I knew how to put it all back together at the end. To be honest the disassembly was fairly easy, I just removed all of the old stubborn sawdust and then I removed all of the other stuff. Then I moved on to sanding up the cast iron table. Now the scroll saw hadn't been used for a few years which meant it had built up quite a layer of rust but to be honest it was fairly easy to sand off. I started with 120 grit to remove the surface rust and then I started using some WD-40 as a lubricant and worked up the grits by hand starting with 120 grit going all the way up to 400 grit. Then I moved on to a detail hand sander just to smooth out any of the sanding lines that I had put on by hand and then again I used the random orbit sander to give it a final smooth over and polish. Now after this I then moved back to the WD-40 with this random orbit sander again just to smooth out any lumps or bumps or any bits of rust that were left. The majority of this project was just sanding this table and cleaning it all up because that was the main issue with it. But once it was all cleaned up it looked really nice and felt really smooth. And it also helps a lot to have a nice smooth table when you're cutting on it because the pieces slide about more which gives you easier access to cuts. I then once again moved back onto hand sanding starting with 240 grit then 320 grit then 400 grit and this was just a final final sand just before applying the machine wax. Now the machine wax protects the table from further rust and also helps the pieces slide about on it as it gives it a really nice smooth finish. The next step of the restoration process was to clean out all of the dust from the actual machine so I used a hoover to do this and a small toothbrush which allowed me to get into all of the nooks and crannies of this especially around the motor which I was going to end up repainting. I then also undid any further bolts just to remove any rust that might have been around those areas and cleaned off the buttons which were rather dirty and this brought them back up to a nice shine so that you could clearly see which was the green on button and which was the red off button. And as you can see here I'm just using a bit of WD-40 just to help loosen any of the rust and just clean it all up and it also helps pick up any of the dust and bits of debris that are stuck in the scroll saw. Before I could start painting, I took some 400 grit sandpaper to the motor housing and the switch box, just to clean up any loose flaky paint and also clean off any rust that may have been present. I then used some hammerite black paint with a really fine paintbrush and started painting the motor housing. Now this was quite time consuming as it was a fairly fiddly job as there were lots of fins to the motor, but these are what helps dissipate the heat so I wanted them to all look nice and all have a nice coat of paint on them. I then also painted the switch box and all of the little bits around the motor, which in my opinion really brought it back up to life and made it look quite nice and new. I did get a couple of bits where the paint overspilled, but I just took a cloth and cleaned off these so that I didn't get the paint sit there and get stuck on it. I only decided to apply one coat of Hammerite, as I think it only needs one coat and to be honest, after one coat it looked pretty much brand new and the motor had a really nice protective coat of paint. Whilst this isn't entirely necessary, I felt that if I was going to restore it, I might as well go the whole way and really clean it up to the best of my ability. I then replaced the old air hose using some hose that I had lying around in the workshop. Now whilst this wasn't a perfect fit, it was pretty good, and you can see I'm trying to use a blowtorch here to get it to conform to the shape, but I ended up just putting a bit of electric tape around it just to get it to a perfect seal. Eventually I may try and find an exact diameter piece of hose, but it's not the end of the world. I then cleaned up the plastic parts to the scroll saw, so the blade guard and also the plastic motor guard as well. And these looked really nice after having a clean up and it brought all of the dust out of the old pieces of plastic. I then gave all the other bits a coat of WD-40 just to remove any dust, debris and rust and then I could put those back on the scroll saw as well. I then screwed the switch box back together and checked all the screws were nice and tight and then I put the motor guard back on as well. After having done that, I then put all of the pieces of metal back onto the scroll saw, so the bit that goes on the top of the scroll saw, which I'm not entirely sure what the name of is, and this was a little bit fiddly as there were lots of screws to go on it, but I had an instruction manual beside me which really helped for this, which had an exploded parts diagram. I managed to find this online, and if I can remember where I got it from, I'll put a link in the description, as I found it invaluable for this project, as it told me what kind of blades this scroll saw wanted, how it should all be assembled, and every part basically to the scroll saw, so it made it really easy to disassemble and really helpful when assembling it as well, and you can see I'm constantly referring to this. And the other thing that really helped was having all of the parts in boxes, because then I knew exactly what should go back where, and it made it really quick and easy to do. 
Last but not least, I put the table back on and checked the scroll saw all worked again, which luckily it did, I hadn't destroyed it in the process of restoring it. I then purchased some blades and I'll show you some clips of it working now and then I'll show you how it all turned out at the very end. So these are the blades I've purchased for the scroll saw. I've got the Pegasus blades and I've got the Proxon blades. At the moment I'm preferring the Proxon ones, I'm finding them easier to cut with and they don't seem to be misbehaving as much. I also find them much easier to turn pieces around when I'm doing sharp corners and if I'm trying to back out a cut, I just find them much more rewarding. However, I am aware that Pegasus are supposed to be the best of the best scroll saw blades and they're meant to be really good, so I suspect a lot of it is just me not having much experience with them yet. However, I do want to get some spiral blades because I'm aware that these sort of, I guess you can call them straight blades, um, they're not as amazing for doing scroll saw work because you can't, you have to constantly turn a piece so much more and they can't cut in any direction if that makes sense, whereas a spiral blade obviously could cut in any direction. But for now, these blades are doing me perfectly fine and I'm really happy with them. So we've got the Proxon ones and the Pegasus ones. I got them from Axminster and they seem to be doing the job thus far. So here we have the finished scroll saw with the cleaned up buttons, the painted motor, nice clean cast iron bed, which has been waxed, cleaned plastic, new hose here, and just a general spruce up to make it all nice and tidy. I'm really happy with the overall results and I think it's going to be really nice to do a lot more work with it. Now the only things I've done in it thus far are that stained glass piece, is that stained glass piece that I was showing you um, when I was cutting it, which it was really easy to cut and I think it's going to be great to try new things on it. I want to do some puzzles and I definitely want to do more stained glass inspired pieces. But yeah, really really happy with the scroll saw, cuts really well and it's a great bit of kit. So thank you once again to the returning wood turner for sending me this. I really do appreciate you letting me have this because it's an awesome tool and I'm so thankful for it. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching the scroll saw restoration. I really hope you enjoyed following along with the restoration, the cleanup, and the process of getting it to how it is now. It's a really awesome tool to use and I can't wait to do a lot more with it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.